to all our viewers of Herald TV, a very warm welcome. O Amso program for Zawan Asad, Bend It with Herald TV. This is uh, concerning our uh, FIFA 2022 World Cup. This program is being supported by Decathlon Kalangut, uh, Martin's Corner in Batalbatim, Adlen Goin Family Restaurant, Darya Deger Multi Cuisine Restaurant Old Goa, and uh, Martin's Place Village Bistro in Navalim. The World Cup opened yesterday. It was a controversy laced uh, World Cup. It had its kickoff on Sunday, Qatar being outplayed and embarrassed in a 0 2 defeat to Ecuador, witnessed by 67. 1,372 fans. The World Cup, which was haunted, harassed and harried by off-field teams, finally acquired a World Cup feel. In 92 years of football's biggest event, a host team had never lost its opening match. Qatar couldn't live up to the great opening encounter. Playing at this level for the first time as Ecuador captain, Valencia scored both goals in the first half. The match took off of a very colorful 30-minute opening ceremony led by Oscar-winning actor Morgan Freeman and attended by powerful dignitaries including the Saudi Arabian Crown Prince Mohammed been Salman. The event earlier had come under strong criticism for how migrant workers had been treated when building the grand stadiums, human rights controversies. Qatar yesterday, under the Spanish coach Felix Sanchez, froze before Ecuador. Actually, Ecuador thought they had scored in the third minute through Valencia as he headed home from close, following an acrobatic cross from Felix Torres. After a video review of about two minutes, Ecuador's celebrations were cut short, as the goal was ruled offside for what appeared to be a marginal offside. Subsequently, Ecuador took the lead in the 16th minute, when Valencia was tripped by Saad Al Ship and Valencia converted the spot kick. Valencia then added the second goal in the 33rd minute, heading a right wing cross from Angelo Preciado. Qatar failed in connecting with accurate passes and the defense crumbled under pressure. Near half time, the Ecuadorian fans chanted, We want a beer but Qatar had declared just two days before that uh, the conservative Islamic nation had decided to ban beer sales at the stadium. What was only available was alcohol-free Bard Zero, which was sold at the games. Ecuador dominated, Qatar were outplayed. What exactly happened on the field? We have two stalwarts. Both Goan stalwarts and football who have left an indelible mark on the football field in Goa. Both internationals in their own way. One an international Goan who played first for Dampos here and then one of the rare Goans who went to Bengal, played for big teams. He played for Mohan Bagan, Mohammedan Sporting and then qualified as the coach and uh, joined the National Institute of Sports. He was uh, the head coach of the Junior India team at that time and uh, subsequently retired at a very high position as coach. We warmly welcome the one on only, only Francis de Souza. Welcome Francis Bob. Thank you for having me here, Mr. Jovito. We have another international footballer with us who played at the India level and then took up to coaching 
and is now the manager of one of the best teams in Goa that we have, Salgonkar. He has uh, done exceedingly well on the football field and as a coach, as a manager, has uh, won laurels not only for Goa but also for India. We welcome my Mogaso Yokar Bab Sanjeev Nagwekar. Bab Sanjeev and Bab Francis, you may call game Proila. Francis Bab, to give a Munta Kalchi game each year. In fact, uh, I would like to quote uh, the press, FIFA president uh, Infantino uh, in his press briefing one day before. He said, I feel Qatari. But today, after the first encounter of Qatar, I'd like to add a little bit to that. I feel sorry for Qatari because the expectations we had was, was not lived up to that expectation we thought that an Arab nation with the financial backing and the resources would put such a dismal performance in the opening encounter. To add to it is, they were completely overawed by the occasion. You could have put a lot of pressure on them right from the beginning. Can we say that uh, uh, Ecuador dominated totally? Yeah, because Ecuador is a team that likes to have possession of the ball. They, they had the possession of the major uh, part of the game and that's how they they dominated the game totally. And Qatar had no answer to it, especially in the first 25 minutes when both the goals came in true. It was like uh, I was thinking that maybe it is going to be one-sided totally with a tennis score. Luckily, it didn't. But they never they never put up a fight for uh, if you consider at World Cup standards that they have to put up a fight equally. Uh, losing and winning is another another part of the game. But they should have played the football that we always wanted, expected they would play. Baba Sanjeev, you have game played. Polo goal malolo to offside man. Sanglata ni. Tu ka kya dista? Kalche game hi chhe. Kalche game chhe malolo dista. Ki ten minute studying, itlo pressure adlo cutter hai ten jane opposition. Ki aao chitta lo ki tenka ek don tin patta lo hundu. Ada prachil baban sangla one side dada. Magar dista lo ki one side us dada lo hundi. Poor after that goal, after ten minutes tenka goal patta ke second half. Then control on the game, Qatarang. And Ecuador, Kani Maishwa Parad, last tough deal, I think they have to get the goal down. Goal down, second half. Goal down, second half. They have to play better game in the second half. They have to play better game in the second half. There was a very vague remark. They said there could have been a match fixing, but I don't think so that came through. Because they expected Qatar to put it across uh, Ecuador. A nation which spends so much of money, billions of rupees, for the holding of this such big event, uh, even to be allotted in the first place, there were rumors that uh, it was rigged, uh, the allotment was rigged. So also this time, uh, I think that was what uh, the people had in mind, that the first game uh, could have been rigged, so that Qatar could have won the first game and then tried to uh, play a draw with Senegal and Netherlands. Yeah, because in the whole history of the World Cup, the hosts have never lost uh, the opener. Yes, and they have gone on creating a record now. Yes, <laughs> for losing, a, a negative yeah, record. Negative record for FIFA also. Yes, yes. because Qatar, uh, they say they have adopted uh, a system of 5-3-2, more defensive, obviously, whereas Ecuador uh, went with 4-4-2. And uh, there were a lot of 5,000 Ecuadorian fans uh, to be, whereas the entire stadium was mostly of Qataris. So, unforgettable day for Ecuador, having won the first game. Forgettable ending for Qatar. What do you say about the Qatar team as a whole? I think, I think they're quite capable of playing better football than what they dished out yesterday. Because uh, uh, I have been watching some past of their past matches, uh, but yesterday I think they had they were under a lot of pressure, and uh, what pressure does to you? Uh, I am totally aware with being one of the international footballers, uh, so that's uh, that's what exactly happened to Qatar. 
I think, like uh, Sanju said, uh, there was so much of pressure by Ecuador and, and the homework they have done and the game plan they have, you know, all went haywire. But, and that's, that's the tactic that uh, Ecuador used. And Ecuador's midfield was very strong. They dominated in the midfield. They, if they lost the ball, they won it in the midfield and they counter-attacked again. Uh, and that's how they dominated Ecuador. Yeah, and you can see that Ecuador is a defensive player. Defense is a good player. And then the 13th number is Valenzuela, captain. He is the 10th goal. He is the 24th goal. And he is the 10th goal. And he is the 10th goal. 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 He is the good player. All are professional players. इनसे साउथ अमेरिकन टीमें चे अच्छा अन्य तो तो कैप्टन आ तो तो के बाद दूसरे क्लब आ जाता बाहर अन्य जो टीम ऑल आर लाइक प्रीमियर लीग टीम सोर्स जो प्लेयर टेंक खेल रहे हैं अन्य कटर एक के लिए दयार डान होमवर्क वाले कटर वाले अतें का टफनेस ना ले ले ते कला गुन काल तीन तीन लीग गेम वो रिज uh, you think that uh, Qatar is uh, have a long way to go to come up to uh, higher standards? Yeah, some uh, some time back, I think uh, some of my colleagues were on air here uh, mentioning that uh, you need a lot of finance to develop your game and to reach at World Cup standards. Here we have an example of how much money was uh, spent on getting Qatar. Qatar has played numerous competitions numerous friendly matches, Honduras and other countries. But if you see ultimately what was displayed yesterday, was like a mediocre Asian uh, club game. Overall, I think Asia has a long way to go. Yeah, definitely. It has a long, long way to go. And uh, in, in spite, uh, unlike our, our system, Indian system, where we don't prepare uh, so early in, in, in a child's uh, lifetime, they were they were a lot they they were they were doing this uh, homework right from uh, 2012 yes so they had about 10 to 12 yes. years of uh, yet yet they couldn't yet they couldn't survive with all the resources no red tapism no political interference nothing and very very big money and very big money yes. where when we talk about finances i'm talking about finances they had everything at their disposal yet the best coach the best training the coach was with the team right from under 19 and under 20 and, and the senior team and yet they were not able to produce the football that we were expecting it was a great start for the ecuadorian coach 60 year old coach gustavo alfaro he is actually from argentina and this is the first time he is managing uh, a national team basically he is a qualified chemical engineer <laughs> to, who took up to, to football and Ecuador did not qualify for Russia 2018 World Cup. So they came back uh, very strongly. Uh, we come to the uh, end of the first half uh, of this uh, presentation. Bang it uh, with Herald TV. And the program is supported by Decathlon Kalangut, uh, Martin's uh, Corner in Batalbati, Adlen Goin Family Restaurant, Doria Deger Multi Cuisine Restaurant, Old Goa, and uh, Martin's Place Village. Bistro Navalin. Hold back, we'll be coming back very soon. Please do drop in at a small little family restaurant called Adelaide Goy, which is just five minutes from Basilica Bon Jesus and Say Cathedral. In this small restaurant, we serve authentic Goan cuisine and we are known even for our fresh fish, chicken, mutton, etc. Also, we are known even for the other cuisines like Tandoori, Indian, Indo-Chinese. So why don't you come over? Also, we have a full veg bar. And our bartenders do really good, amazing cocktails and mocktails. And also, most important point, we are having a live premiere of the FIFA World Cup. So do drop in with your family and friends. And for reservations, dial the number on the screen. Today we are at Martin's place and the ambience, thank you ambience are getting so different. Like look at this, so spacious and so nice. You feel like dancing. So let's cheers for it. The food here is next level. Like it's so good and so the prawns, guys. They were so kurkurit. 
like it is approved by mr kurkuri so look at me eat them any goan sausage stuffed sweets wow. kitne lagta le rahe ho sham ke card is boom bang a bang boom bang zata ani tenge signature dish mila mere stuffed crabs kitne lagta ho bara pure crab meat white wine ani cream ani cheese gun jona hai mera ami prawns pulao ani chicken kafriyal kafriyal kit lagta har ke chod bare to pulao welcome back after the short uh, break uh, you are with uh, herald bandit with uh, tv herald and uh, we are talking about the world cup uh, performance uh, we have uh, francis de souza and sanjeev nagwinkar both a former international footballers of great repute and uh, this program is being uh, supported by decathlon kalangut martin's corner batalbatim adlen goy family restaurant doria degir multi cuisine restaurant in old goa and martin's place village bistro in navelim So we have been talking about the performance uh, and how Qatar let us all down. Everybody is not uh, uh, did not expect such a bad result, and especially the opener they created a negative historic uh, world record, sort of to say, in the history of the World Cup. Uh, do you think that the defense of Ecuador uh, and you had defenders like Piero, Hin, Kepi, and Felix Torres? You mean to say they were too tough uh, for the strikers of uh, Qatar? No, in fact, uh, what I what I've been telling you uh, just a few minutes back is that they they had complete control of the midfield, and when you have control over the midfield, I mean you make the job for the defenders very easy. You don't let in those gaps there, and you don't allow the forwards to take a shot at the goal. And if you if you have seen. the goalkeeper was never tested in the whole 90 minutes so if, when when your team totally combines well and, and very well supported by each other i mean it becomes an easier job for the defensive uh, players to uh, play with more ease to go again is sanjeev bab ke katara che overall play itlo ollo jam kidak paungna फॉवर्ड लाइन इतने बोरे फिनिशिंग करटार डिफेंडर सारे चांस नौर इज इट बिकॉज लैटीन अमेरिकन फुटबॉल is quite high compared to asian and especially the uh, middle east yeah this uh, most of the players from yokota have been playing in different leagues all over the world and especially the uh, defender felix he 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 has been playing and wanted by some of the top clubs in uh, europe so they have vast experience playing in this big leagues leagues and world cup is a stage where everybody wants to prove themselves that's that's you an opportunity that you get after four years so and it's a pride it's a proud moment for uh, you hudarians not having represented uh, the world cup uh, last four years yes and this was a big opportunity and uh, very rightly so uh, backed up by their coach who, whom you said is a chemical engineer uh, they believed in him and, and his strategy worked very well and uh, they put qatar under tremendous pressure and that's how uh, you know when you are under pressure uh, mostly you 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 can't think properly and that's exactly what happened to qatar players i mean the natural flow that they were used to play i mean they were not able to get a grip on the game but the uh, uh, ecuador was uh, in uh, uh, last word too strong for qatar yeah they had they had the ball possession uh, most, totally, of most of the time yes and uh, and that's how i also anticipated that uh, yugoder would keep the ball with them for a longer time than qatar because of the confidence the experience having played uh, opponents like brazil uh, before i mean they were psychologically a better team yes. physically yeah, they have proved on the ground but psychologically they were a better team than qatar qatar had uh, pressure uh, the thousands of uh, qataris who came to witness there they they had a they had to prove something to them which they couldn't uh, fulfill their expectations to again this time kataraji game we the best hola o ejan bore hon teni jatale magaista te 
हे गेम टफ बरी टफ पड़े हजार टीम से राउंड बोर खेल सकता पोली गेम पीडियर पीडियर टफ टीम पड़ी दीज प्लेयर आर ओवल आर वेरी प्रोफेसनल प्रीमियर लीग खेल बोरे बड़े क्लब खेल कटर कंपटिशन बोरी टीम फाइटी क्या आज सेनेगाल नेदरलैंड खेलता साढ़े नौ वर तेज इंग्लैंड इरान खेलता साढ़े स वर आज और सेनेगाल नेदरलैंड तुम्हारा फ्रांसि बाब आटार आतेडोर आई थिंक जो नेदरलैंड इज फेवरेट्स टू क्वालिफाई फ्रॉम टॉप ऑफ द to the top of the league yeah. uh, along with senegal right so the task of qatar and ukraine also is very tough okay. but ukraine has been one step higher with the three points they have got from qatar yeah and now the only hope against hope that we have is that since qatar is is has lost the first match uh, now i think uh, psychologically they may be Little more different than what they played the first encounter. Yeah, but now they have got nothing to lose. Yeah, so <laughs> I, you can you can expect that they might come up with some exceptional performance, not being under pressure. Yes. And if yes. that is true, we will see uh, them performing against Senegal and uh, Netherlands. Yes. Because the final for the match for the ha, they are on asa Senegal and the Netherlands, and the Netherlands they have topped their group and lost only once. and uh, for netherlands this will be their 11th appearance in the world cup they have never won the cup with their best finish being as runners up in 74 78 and 2010 they are the favorites boasting a wealth of european talent and uh, when you talk uh, about uh, senegal senegal is expected to progress as number 2 in group a and uh, i don't think so qatar can even dream to uh, should go there if senegal finish second behind netherlands and they will face england and that would be a very tight encounter so do you think that this group is not that easy the group a no in fact uh, i think uh, since the teams which are there the four teams yes. ukraine qatar netherlands and uh, senegal senegal i mean uh, it was it was long concluded that senegal and uh, netherlands on their performance at the Af- african cup uh, senegal and netherlands hosting a lot of premier players and players playing in the top leagues in the in the world uh, la liga and everywhere i think they were always favorites to get number 1 number 2 positions so, so qatar could have could have left a impression in this world cup yeah. by putting up a better performance okay. and that's all that we had hoped for yeah. तुका कटरेची गेम कालची तुका दिसली सारखे बेस्ट खेळला म्हणते मला दिसतं ते काल बेस्ट खेळला पण ग्रुप पोईत झाल्यावर सेगल आणि त्यांना चान्स ना ते क्वालिफाय झाले आणि ना होय किरा ते ग्रुपान बरे टफ ती तिसरे टीम आहे तीन टीम आहे ते बरे टफ आहे काल खेळला तर तर खेळत ते झाले त्यांना क्वालिफाय झाले ते तुम्ही चान्स ना कोहो चान्स ना चान्स ना एंड टुमॉरो आल्सो वी हैव द ओपनिंग मॅच ऑफ ग्रुप बी एंड दैट्स Uh, us wales and then there are two other teams and uh, we have england and iran playing uh, tomorrow england with uh, coach uh, southgate they'll be looking for three key points uh, and uh, it will be very tricky fixtures against united states and wales uh, to come what do you say about uh, this group b england iran us and wales england is a favorite to top the group because uh, she see the quality of players they have in their squad i mean in this world cup you you have now five substitutes yes uh, the first time the first is being time the five, yes. substitutes five substitutes, substitutes yes. yeah so uh, even if if they have a, if they have to struggle a bit i mean they still have an opportunity of bringing the best talents again into the game and you can avail five substitutes and change the complexion of the match yeah. but so as as a franciscan sangathi bashan a party five substitutes in a game to be made in three windows poilers party five sub to so this uh, this is a good move by fifa kiran sir so the coach ang chance pata ke player ek kor ba sub to ek kor ba and poile ke ada fakat tinu jada le player do minute ran ke ada ek player injured jada le bar padta hoitalo then don sub to urta urtale 
मैं कोचा जो प्रेसर है चोड आता एक पैलो सोफ्टवेर जो फोर्टी फाइव ना लास्ट मिनट सेवेंटी मिनट चेंज करता पता कोचा चान्स पड़ता कि एक दो जान जो तीग जान उत्तर तेरा ती फूल टीम पोन मिडफील्ड बैग खुद प्लेयर का चान्स पड़ता इज अ वेरी गुड मूवे स्पॉट दैट इज स्कॉट हेज गॉट ट्वेंटी सिक्स प्लेयर इट वॉज ओनली ट्वेंटी थ्री सो ट्वेंटी सिक्स एंड फाइव सब्सिट्यूट यू थिंक इज एन एक्सेलेंट मूव या Uh, I mean, I mean, the consideration was that uh, this time the World Cup is playing in winter session, uh, in between leagues that are played all over the world, and you know that uh, after the World Cup concludes, they are going to play back. You are going to continue with yes. the local leagues, yes. Premier yes. League, La Liga, and everywhere. So it's going to be a lot of pressure on the players to ease the pressure on the players. And the FIFA has suggested five uh, substitutes. The same thing happened during COVID times. You know, five yes. five uh, yes. substitutes were allowed by FIFA and on the respective federations because uh, because of uh, COVID. And I think it is it is a wise move because uh, you don't want players burning out too early or uh, there is there is every possibility of injury to players. So it gives time for the coach of the team and and the players. To recover from injury and and also an opportunity for coach to use their five substitutes uh, sparingly. Yeah, so, so it's, 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 very, good. it's, it's very, very good. It's very good. Very good move, move by FIFA. Sanjeev, you have to follow it. World Cup uh, match is over. And in two days, Maka Sangla, the ticket is just broken. I mean, what is that? A big blazer or what? Sweater gets over. Sweater gets over. What is that? I think one thing is that without sweater, what is that? पूण ते खूब जान दोग जान संगला बरबर लेक्चर तेने संगले कि फुल्ली एयर कंडीशन बिकॉज ऑल आर फॉरेन कंट्री लाइक क्लायमेट तेका लागून ते एसी ब्लो घून ते सकल बरयला कि ये हाड़े मन क्या जैकेट ना कि हाड़पा जाए सो आई थिंक दे हेव क्रिएटेड राइट एनवायरमेंट टू प्ले Yes, because uh, Qatar is having eight stadiums are fully air conditioned, and uh, and the temperatures are going to be high because uh, they are looking for safety of the players, because uh, because in other places where heat was more, they had uh, breaks of twenty five minutes each way. Yes. Uh, water breaks. Oh, water, water, break. water breaks. Water, water breaks. breaks. So they create uh, they have created an environment for players to play in those conditions where they are familiar. Like playing in England, Italy, and all these countries, when their local league is playing, being played, they are playing in cold conditions. So they don't want players to be affected by in any way uh, during the heat in Qatar. Uh, the first goal that was scored and that was declared for offside, and uh, it was the new semi-automated offside technology with upgraded VAR system, and they said it would bring down from 70 seconds to 20 seconds. There also has been a goal line technology where the referee gets alert, and if the ball goes over, also the line men also get an alert. I think this is also the first time that female referees will be seen at the World Cup. Yeah, do you a, think it's a, it's a good in terms of our technology? Yeah, it's a very good uh, initiative taken by FIFA to implement uh, the goal line technology, the semi-automated -auto uh, offside signals, and uh, women to officiate. I mean, there should not be discrimination as long as women do their job perfectly. Yes. So uh, today, Monday, we have got uh, two matches: uh, Group B, England versus Iran at 6:30 p.m. And at 9:30 p.m. today, Monday, we have a Group B, very <laughs> crucial match: Senegal versus uh, Netherlands. Tomorrow, Tuesday, there are four matches. It starts at 12:30 a.m. United States uh, versus Wales. Then there are matches at 3:30 p.m., 6:30 p.m., 9:30 p.m. So four matches for Tuesday tomorrow. First one at 12:30 U.S. versus Wales. Then Group C: Argentina versus Saudi Arabia at uh, 3:30 p.m. Group D: Denmark versus Tunisia at 6:30 p.m. And uh, Group C. Mexico versus uh, Poland and uh, 9:30 p.m. So I think you'll be seeing uh, some of the matches. Yeah, most of the matches because uh, this is the highest standard 
of football that we can witness. And it is also uh, nice, Jovito, that uh, we can see the underdogs playing football. Because we know what is happening in their country, how yes. much of development of football is there. So I think uh, uh, we conclude our uh, third episode. And uh, keep on watching uh, Bandit with uh, Herald TV. And this uh, program was supported by Decathlon Kalangut, Martin's Corner Batal Batting, Adlen Goy Family Restaurant, Doria Deger Multi Cuisine Restaurant Old Goa, and Martin's Place Village Bistro Navalim. Wish you all the best, and uh, we'll be back uh, tomorrow uh, with uh, expert commentators. Uh, and uh, till then, bye bye.